We might just get hit with the reaper. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them birds like we play for the Eagles. I'm on probation, so let me not talk with the legal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. For my teachers that said I won't make it here. What's going on guys, boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So um Yeah, training camp is over. And um Yeah, we're kind of just now waiting six more weeks till training camp and uh see the real competition begin. It's where these players are gonna make their last strides to get those roster spots. Um I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Um but I'm gonna give a little update, just doing a little walk around video i know everybody loves those walk around videos those pacing walk around videos so if you guys could see i moved my whole living room it's not done yet but um everything that was over by that wall that stuff over there was over by that wall i moved that stuff there and now i got an open space and this will be my new I guess my new setup soon. Going to paint that wall midnight green. Got a lot of stuff to put on that wall and uh, make it look pretty. Um, finally, after all this time, uh, make like an actual setup instead of setting it up near my fucking kitchen like I am every day. Because um, I really haven't live streamed with eagle shit all around me and I don't know, maybe since I started. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I ever really did. So, um, yeah, so um, I'm excited about what, where this is all going to go. There's a lot of standouts, a lot of guys that are really rising to the top, and I cannot wait because, hell, it's going to save us a lot of cap. It's going to save us a lot of room to, if guys actually pick up and if guys could start and these come-up guys that, like Devontae Bosby, DJ Killings, my God, I mean, you could go down the list. Nate Gary, another rising player in camp so far, um, you know, with the uncertainty of Jordan Hicks this year. Um, but there is so much more. And, um, man, it's just really exciting. And I really can't wait, like I said, for the millionth time. Um, but I want to kind of see. And, you know, another thing I actually want to see is this. I want to see if they if the Eagles actually sign Corey Graham. I actually want to see this defensive rotation how it really is. I can't, I mean we probably won't find out until since the season starts really, but I'm hoping to see I want to see the starting D and who are the first stars. I mean Derek Barnett, I don't know if he'll actually start on the first D line, probably not, probably second. Um, cuz you know, it, it doesn't really matter. There's really no stars on this D line. It's all a rotation every five plays, so it's really you know, they're all going to get playing time, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, I want to see how Samalo and Chance Warmack, you know, what they could do in um, in preseason because Samalo looks like he's going out the door. Samalo looks like he probably won't make the roster. Maybe he'll stay on the roster for depth. Warmack's been a complete disgrace. And um, Mike Wallace, bro. If you guys haven't checked my highlight video for Mike Wallace, please check it out. I will put the link in the description below for that video. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited about this wide receiver core. Going to be a wide receiver core. I mean, they, they had the audacity. The audacity to talk about the damn... <sighs> they had the audacity to talk about the damn Browns. They had the best wide receiver core in the league. That is fucking poor shit. Bullshit. I can't even... I, it's just... It's stupid. It's just fucking stupid, okay? Yeah. Really now? Really? I mean, Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, why? Because our receivers didn't have big stats last year. Um, Zach Gertz, Nelson Aguilar, and Alshon Jeffrey had over seven touchdowns fucking each, okay? So the difference between the Eagles to any other fucking NFL team in the whole league is... We don't rely on one guy. We don't rely on one running back like most teams do. We don't rely on one wide receiver like most teams do. We don't rely on one tight end like most teams do. We don't have to rely on one quarterback like one most teams do this year. Now, <laughs> you got the Super Bowl MVP backing up the hungry Carson Wentz that's going to throw 40 touchdowns this year. 
that's going to be more successful with the best offensive line in the whole fucking league. The best number one offensive line in the whole league. Um, don't get me wrong. I give my respect to Foles. Okay? I give my respect to Foles. So, not going to give, not, I kind of want to go over the whole schedule again and kind of go over all the matchups and how we could win, how we can't win. I don't know, but this is a good schedule for us this year. And the Eagles have the roster to go for it again. Do I think the Eagles will make the playoffs? Yes. First seed, don't know. But I think the Eagles could be 12-4 and four this year. I think they can. You know, I'm not saying not 10-6. and 10-6 and six ain't good enough. Not in the NFC. Not if you want first seed. But... I'm I'm hell of excited for all this. <laughs> Sydney Jones. <laughs> Sydney Jones. Looking like a star already. And can't wait to see him hit the field. Jalen Mills coming back and being that fucking swagger shit talking corner that we love. That fights back. And if he, if he if something happens in a game, he, he gets beat. He always comes back and makes another play. That's why Jalen Mills is so great. I mean, Ronald Darby's got a lot to prove. Contract year, so he has to play good. You understand? Devontae Bosby is in the run for the nickel spot. A practice squad corner is coming up to take that nickel spot. And it's looking pretty damn good. We're going to see if Josh Schwett, the defensive end from Notre, uh, from Notre Dame, from Florida State, we're going to see if putting those pads on and playing football is going to work out for him because he's looked explosive without the pads. Once he puts on the pads, we're going to see how explosive because he's been downgraded because he had knee injuries in college. I mean, in uh, high school. And then his, he had a problem with his motor gave up on a lot of, uh, on a lot of pressures uh, where he could have probably made tackles, could have had some uh, more sacks this past year, but he, when he with the pads on, he seems to run on a quarter tank, you could say, and not finishing with his pass rush. But we're gonna see what he can do. And he has a lot of people. He has the best defensive line in the whole league to learn from. Okay, so that's all I really gotta say. Just giving you guys an update. I'm gonna do a review on. All I'm not I'm I'm kind of just relaxing today, but I'm gonna do a little review then later this week on the whole entire um, train camp mini camp. Just a summary of what's going on. Some stuff I've already talked about in separate videos. Kind of put it, kind of put everything together. Not gonna make it too long. Don't want to make it too long. But every time I say that, it always ends up fucking long. You know, short stories. Um, yeah. So that and. I'm going to be doing a video with Adrian Fedku of the Bitter Birds Wednesday, I think. Um, talked to him already, so going to be doing just me. I think Giovanni's doing I don't know, but Giovanni might be there too. I, I don't know. But I know I'm going to be on the show Wednesday. I should be. Um, so that should be fun. Can't wait to talk about stuff. And, um, and that's pretty much about it. So, hey, the summary will come out later this week. And we'll talk more birds. Got training camp. We've got a few more weeks. And training camp starts, and the season will begin shortly. So that's about it, guys. So I will see you guys later. Remember, fly goes fly. Shake squad up. Peace.